Hey, what's up guys? I'm Vortac and welcome back to Rising World. This is the fifth episode in our Rising World Let's Play. And if you're wondering what that monstrosity is over there, I hope you'll check out my Rising World update video I did yesterday, really briefly, on the new furnaces and the fueling features they added, which I, I guess I basically just covered in that one sentence, but I went into it in a little more detail in that video from yesterday. Uh, today, we are going to be working on decorating our beach house and I will also be discussing how to play on our new server. So that's pretty exciting. Now I am pre-recording this video. By the time you see it, there's a good chance that server may already be up. Be sure to join our Discord for all the info on that. And you can be one of the first people there to start building and playing in case that information uh, is just not available for me to say in this video. <laughs> but it is by Friday. So... As you can see, we have a little bit of uh, croppage here. We can go ahead and take some tomatoes. They've been my uh, my main fuel source, my main lifeblood here in our world. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple of things. I want to take our crafting bench, and I believe if you hold the action key, I was told, you can pick up your, uh, your stuff that you've placed down. Certain thing. Ah, there we go. Removing workbench. I'm going to take the saw table as well. I'm going to craft new ones of these once we actually get a workshop because those things are, they look like trash. And let's take the block bench as well. I'm going to slowly start dismantling this area. And let's get them over to our construction site. I want these available because obviously we're going to be making furniture. And as I place stuff down, I'm going to be like, ooh, we could use a this and a that. So we'll put that stuff over here. Now, I did go and pre-gather some stone and some wood. So hopefully we have all the materials we need to build some of these things. I know that... Uh, some things I'm going to need also include, like, wool and things of that sort. Uh, someone commented just recently saying, hey, you don't need shears to get wool from sheep. All you have to do is go up to them and hit your action button, and it'll shear them for you. So, for now, anyway, we don't need shears, and that's pretty cool. Uh, I will definitely go and do that so we can have a bed in our new house. Uh, it looks like it's also getting dark, speaking of beds. So I'll place this down, and we will go and get some sleep. So as stated, all we need to do is run up to a sheep, hit our action button, which for me is E, and we will take their wool. Let's find out. Snip. Oh, sweet. I got 32. Nice. I'm hoping that's enough to make a bed. It seems like it would be enough. Now, using this new trick we've picked up, let's go ahead and get rid of the scaffoldings because they're just going to be getting in the way now, and I'm probably going to need to climb up in different areas of the house, so having these at my disposal again will be nice. And uh, now we did start putting up this window here, and uh, I know a lot of you have said there's more creative things I could probably do at the house. And as I put furniture and things like that, I might add some of those things. There's no n reason this house has to be done. Maybe I will add an upstairs at some point. I don't really know. For now, this just needs to suit my current needs. So I will uh, first go into our favorites. I believe I saved, uh-huh, I saved our bricks. We will make, uh, like we need like five or six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that should cover our ass. And yes, I also did see your comments saying you were really frustrated with me when I was putting up this roof and and learning that I couldn't place slabs on, on the upper part of the block. And I was getting so frustrated. Apparently, you can move this around freely using the arrow keys. I apologize. That would have made my life easier. It would have been nice to have a little bit more of a gap above the door, but it turned out nice still. I still like the way this came out. I still don't mind the doors exactly from floor to ceiling. So I'm going to just let that go. It's okay. But now that we have that trick, I can actually maybe use it for this, like that. So I can go ahead and come across. Six is perfect. And that is what I wanted for the window. So cool. Now this kind of sticks out. It is also uh, part of the interior of the house uh, like that. So I, I think that looks pretty nice. There, we'll, we'll put a window frame and some glass in there. And uh, I wanted to put additional windows as well. It just kind of depends on where, where we can go here. Uh, let's knock out this part of the wall. And let's come over here and knock out this part of the wall. And I believe that will get us... I don't know. Let's. I'm just going to do a couple of floor to ceilings here. Like so. We'll have to get some more slabs, it seems. But that's alright. I have some in the chest back at our original campsite. So I'll take these out. I'm still building the house. I said I'd decorate. What am I doing? Uh, <laughs> let's take this out. And I will place some more... I just missed this spot completely. I'll place some more tiles there. Let's get all the damn windows dug out. 
I know, there's a lot of little flaws we have to address. That's fine, we will get there. We will, we will have a fully functioning, modern looking house in no time flat. Let's go ahead and place that like that. There we go, floor to ceiling windows done. And uh, we might want something over here. I don't know, maybe like a double wide window or something a little less floor to ceiling or maybe more floor to ceiling. I don't know, let's just dig something out, see what happens. Let's kind of fool around a little bit here. Uh, ooh, you know what I want to do, actually? Let's go ahead and dig this out. Like, well, I wish I could count the blocks easier. How do we, how do, we do that? One, two, three. One, two, three. Ah, okay, perfect. It's centered. Let's just do a floor-to-ceiling wide window right here. And it can also act as a door for b b before I get glass in here because I'm a lazy ass. So we'll put that there. Oh, and another thing that this just reminded me of is we have to get rid of the wood right here because that has no business being here. So we'll get rid of that. All right, now can we start decorating? Fine, fine, we'll start decorating. First things first, let's decide what kinds of furniture pieces we're gonna be putting in our house. Now this is where the fun begins. I love looking through their catalog of decorative furnitures and things, furnishings and things like that. We can put curtains and blinds and uh, potted plants and uh, wow, this got intense. Do we need to actually, we have to get moose antlers to put this up, that's awesome. Uh, and weather vane, a statue, we, we did that once. Uh, okay, let's just, after we, let's get some, let's get some stuff first. We got, we're good on doors. Uh, wait, did you see that? Door, grill. Oh, like, bars, like a jail cell. I'm like, what are the grills doing in here? Barricades, cool. So, I guess we should obviously just start with, like, a kitchen table. That, that makes some sense. These are seatings. Let's go to tables. So, we can take any of these awful-looking workshop tables and turn them into nice-looking dining tables just by clicking these arrows here. Uh, it just kind of depends on what kind of aesthetic I'm looking for. There's kitchenettes. Those are still the same color. I, I was always wanting some variety in these because everyone has the same exact kitchenettes. Uh, but we'll, we'll kind of deal with it. There's the sink, half third, so on and so forth. Uh, so small table B. What well, looks more contemporary? Maybe maybe A with, with some kind of finish here. Ooh, that looks kind of nice. Uh, white looks good, but we have white walls. Uh, what about, ooh. You know what? That looks kind of nice. Just nice and simple. Let's craft one of these. And I'll make the seatings exactly the same. Some, uh, not armchairs. Let's find some decent enough. Ooh, you know what? I like I like when people do this in their, uh, in their kitchen. They have a, a bench on one side of their table, and they have seats on the other. That looks kind of cool. So let's get some chairs here one two three maybe and let's see how this all worked out maybe, let's make sure i also got everything to be the same matching color because that would be embarrassing if suddenly i uh <laughs> screwed up the simplest part about crafting let's put that i mean i i'm still tempted to i guess this makes a good dining spot dining area this is a small table though they weren't joking when they said small table wow uh no, that's not, that won't do. That won't do at all. Let's put this back down here. We have one more slot in our inventory left. Let's not screw this up. Back to tables, and uh, there we go. Yeah. Give me that. That looks nice. And it's, it's actually tall enough. Good. It meets my standards. Let's hit the grid. Make sure we actually get this somewhat centered. And right... Ooh, how does that look? Right about... Ah, fine, whatever. Okay. We'll put our bench back here for the rejects. Our guests will sit on the bench like losers. And we will put the regular old chairs on this side. And we'll put three of them. Because odd numbers rule. Right? Right. We can push this in. Uh, and I might just do that. And we may go on this side to do it. So let's push this in right there. Before I continue to ramble on too much, it's about time we talk about the server. Now, down below this video, you are going to find a, uh, a link to a Google Doc. That Google Doc, all you have to do, fill that out, answer all the questions on it, and from there, I will determine if you will be playing on the server with us or not. Uh, now, if you get, if you don't hear from me for a bit, that's my, that might be because the server is just not ready yet. Uh, it could be for a number of reasons. 
Uh, but ultimately, if you don't hear from me for a while, it could just mean that I didn't feel you were quite going to make it onto the server. And if that offends anybody, if that's something that's going to upset you, I do apologize. Uh, I, I have to be very selective and very careful about who comes on the server, at least at first. Uh, and like I said in the, in the last Let's Play video, if you uh, just hang out in the Discord and get to know people, there's a good chance you won't be waiting long to play on the server. It's just kind of, it's going to have an air of exclusivity just for a, a time. And eventually I hope to uh, allow more people to come on and play with everybody and, and have it be a happy and harmonious time. So if you're not, if you're not getting a response, don't, you know, just, just be patient and we could get to you. But it's as simple as filling out that Google Doc below. So go ahead, fill that out. I will get back to you and we'll just go from there. It's, it's really that simple. You didn't have to wait for me to tell you. It's been down there the whole time. All right, I'm placing down these window frames here. Uh, they really, it's not a big deal. They don't need to be, they don't, let's see. I was gonna say they don't need to be perfect, but then I'm like, well, no, they kind of need to be. I was thinking I could put glass in without the window pane, but if memory serves correctly, that's actually not true at all. So let's push that out. Oh, nice. That was as far as I could go. Not bad. It already looks like there's a window there. Let's take this next one and resize it to this window here. I don't think I'm done placing windows in this house uh, or creating windows for the house. I think we're going to have a, uh, a few windows to start and then I'm going to be adding them as we go, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Now, okay, that fits pretty well. We'll place that all the way from back here. That works. Should I be putting these, I think I should be putting these like on the very outer edge or maybe in, uh, I don't know. I don't know what it looks, but that's why I went for the middle. But now that I think about it, when I see like a, uh, a house like this out in, out in the wild, the windows, uh, match some wall. Let's, let's just keep them in the middle. If we put them out, they kind of stick out a little. Well, that actually looks kind of nice. All right, let's do that. And we'll take these out. There we go. And uh, I got to redo this one. Ah, we'll just leave that one, actually. But this one, we will put, make it skinnier. We will put uh, in properly, like so. Bam. And then, of course, this monstrosity. The, uh, making cornered windows like these is, is very difficult. I've tried it before, and I gave up. And this is why I thought I could maybe put glass without a window frame. I may have to try. I may have to be really creative with how we place this. Let's try to make some glass and see if we if we can't place it without a frame. I could be wrong here. If we go to... Oh, no, it's in the saw bench. Go to construction. Let's just do glass panes. Uh, I'll make a few, and we'll just kind of see how that fits. Uh, I like how these are nice and dark. I can see what I'm doing, and... Oh, that's weird. I'm not rotating it, or I'm not holding shift, and it's re... Oh, okay. It was resizing itself without the need to hold shift. Okay, so I can indeed place this down. Uh, how big can we make it? Can it go up? Look at that. All I have to do is like put some kind of like uh, beam in the corner or something just to tie it all together. Can it go out anymore? No. All right, let's place that. We'll call that good. And we will put one right here. Let's turn that. Uh, ooh, and it seems it's not going to be big enough. Let's put that there. Oh, and it's going to do that clipping thing they do. Let's back that off a little bit. Hmm. It needs to match the window uh, on the right. There we go. And we can put one more really skinny one if we flip it like this and just come way the hell in. We can make that almost non-existent. Let's make that as skinny as we can. If we just go one block wide, we should be able to cover our ass. Ugh. No, you're gonna clip into the next window? Well, that's not very nice. Oh, I guess, I guess I need, you know what? It's not a big deal. We can actually make this really skinny. Or, Hmm. It's going to clip. No, it is it is a big deal. Let's put this here. That sucks. And I used all four of my windows. 
So it looks like crap. Ugh. Dang it, windows. We can put something here. I don't know. We, we could just put nothing there. It's not supposed to have a corner. It's supposed to look open and cool. <sighs> Damn it, windows. I just made it too wide is all that happened. Let's, let's continue. Finally, I can afford my bed. Let's go ahead and click that. A little bit of leftover cloth. I went out and <laughs> cut, down, cut down some more trees and got some more sheep to, uh, donate, to donate to the cause. We have our bed. Now, we don't have a good bedroom. We don't have even an excuse to place a bedroom. I think for now I could put it in the kitchen. I could put it by this window. Uh, there's really, there's just really no good place to put it. And this is where an upstairs kind of comes into play. I think I'm going to put it right about here. Let's turn it like this. And let's center it on this little wall right there. And, I mean, I can just sleep by the great outdoors. Not a big deal. Now we can set our spawn here. And that's fantastic. So, we have a bed. Other things we could put? I don't know. A bookshelf, maybe? We're just going to do the basic decorating. Now, as we go on, I'll probably be putting... Uh, it's under cupboards. There we go. Modern shelf. I'll probably be putting some more... Let's... How, how do I word this? I'll be putting some more thought into the house itself. As time goes on, I plan on putting a, uh, a bunch of posters around the walls. In fact, I may even do some of the crazy things people do where they take pictures of TVs and things like that and they put them up. Uh, I always think that's pretty cool looking. Making it look like you actually have a TV set in Rising World. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, but I wanted to start with some of the modern fixtures that they actually have in the game. Uh, now, the, the problem is that we don't have the uh, the advanced workbench, which doesn't take a whole lot to craft. But once we get that, we can make all kinds of cool stuff like lights, really cool looking lights too. But the tier 2 workbench requires 32 iron plates, iron 32 iron rods, and 4 aluminum plates. And once you have that, you can make all those cool things. So, the house is far from complete. I suppose the last thing I can look into doing, if I have the resources left over, uh, is we can do we can move our grill down here. We can get a cool smoker for the back patio. I wanted to actually go into saw bench here and find ah banisters. I wanted to do something with the back deck. Uh, there's all kinds of cool stuff you can do, but obviously the uh, the banisters would make the most sense. So all we need is lumber and iron rods, and we can at least start putting these down. I think for this I want to use a different shade of wood. I actually really like the way that looks. So let's make eight of them. That's all we can really afford right now. And I'll show you what this is going to kind of look like. Uh, we'll start from here. So I'll turn this, hit grid. And uh, all we have to do is kind of put this down one at a time. I can make them like that if I want, but they'll probably clip into each other and look ugly. I'm just going to go with that. No big deal. And we have eight of them. And once we get this all put in with banisters... I can go ahead and put uh, some kind of opening here where you can walk down. I don't remember how to do corners exactly. I know that sometimes the it just doesn't work out in your favor and corners look like garbage. So I may need to come out one more block I, I'm or just I guess I can put one here. No, it's not going to look good, is it? I'll have to figure that's for that's for future vortex. Let, let, let's let that uh, asshole figure that out. We'll we'll just stick to this. So put our banisters banisters up that we have, and you kind of get an idea. It seems that every episode I don't manage to finish what I start, but that's okay. We just need more supplies. I have a lot more gathering to do. Uh, but I appreciate all of your suggestions. Everyone's been super cool. Everyone's been very excited, and that makes me excited. So uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to continuing to decorate the house as we go. But the next episode, we'll probably, be, we'll probably start a new building project. And I, you may just find the house slowly start coming together as videos go on. Or maybe I'll get bored and play a whole bunch offline. Uh, guys, do not forget, the form is down below. If you want to play on the server, you have to fill out that form. And I will get to each and every one of you individually and decide whether or not you'll be on in the first round of invites. And yes, those invites will be sent out in rounds. So be sure to look out for that. And uh, 
once we get all those sent out and the server is good to go, you have a brand new world to play on. We will not be playing on this world, I decided finally. I want a whole separate world for the server, and I'll be playing on it in my free time. I'll be doing things on there that I won't be doing here. Kind of my, It'll be, in some ways, my test world. So if I have some crazy, kooky idea for what I want to build in this world, I may go on there and build it and uh, see how it ends up looking. And it'd be a great way for some of you who are online to give me suggestions, and uh, hopefully I can grow as a Rising World player. I was just gonna say, I filled this thing with iron up here. <laughs> hopefully I can grow as a Rising World player with your help. Uh, so be sure to check out our Discord, be sure to fill out that form, and I hope to see you guys very soon on our brand new Rising World server. Thank you so much, and I will catch you next time.